Imagine you're on a first date, and you really like the person you're with. And at the end of the date, you say, you know, I'd, uh, I'd really like to see you again. And your date says, I'll think about it. Are you going to walk away from that date and go, well, that's really great. I'm glad you're thinking about it. And then try following up at a later date saying, yeah, hi, this is Bob. I'm um, wondering if you want to go out on that second date. If the potential love of your life hesitates when you ask him or her for a date, don't you want to know, well, why are you hesitating? I mean, is there a problem? Why are you not saying yes? I mean, you didn't say no, but you didn't say yes. You know, why? Wouldn't you like to know? Of course you would. Some of you would ask, some of you would say, well, I'm just kind of curious. You know, I, I think things went pretty well tonight. I mean, you seem to like me. Uh, we seem to have a lot in common. Um, but yet you're not sure if you want to go out with me again. I mean, is there a problem? Uh, what aren't you sure about? Once you know that information, then you could discuss it more. You could find out maybe if there's a misunderstanding or something which is even more important if the true intention of that person is to not go out with you again. Wouldn't you want to know that now instead of walking around with a maybe for days or weeks or just feeling really bad because you don't know what happened, you thought it was good? It's the same thing when you sell to your customers and they say, looks good, I'll think about it. Most salespeople at that point, they walk out, they leave, but they feel pretty good because they didn't get a no, right? Not getting a no is not necessarily a good thing if you didn't not get a yes or anything. I mean, the problem is when you walk, it out, of, when you walk out with a maybe, you don't have anything you could hang your hat on. You see, don't be afraid to go for a no. When someone says, I'll think about it, and Brian Tracy is the best at handling this, so all credit goes to Brian, but he says, you want to think about it. Well, this is a big decision. You should think about it because that puts the customer at ease. But then when you say, just, just out of curiosity, yep. what is it that you want to think about? If it was in the dating situation, you would say, am I, am I too aggressive? Did I talk too much? Do I have spinach between my teeth? You want to try and put the person at ease, the prospect at ease, and allow them to tell you where they're hesitating. Because let's face it, folks, in a product presentation or a service presentation, whatever you're selling, the prospect is never going to know more about your product than they do at that moment. Sure, they might take some time to go ahead and do some research on the internet and try to find out more about it, maybe find a better price, look at your competitors, whatever. But the reality is, if they're really interested in your product at that point, you're there to answer their questions. Once you leave, they're on their own. So when they say they'll think about it, they probably won't be thinking about you. Give them the opportunity to tell you what they're thinking about. And if they're not going to buy, say, hey, listen, you know, if this product isn't for you, not a problem. I'd rather know that now. Just tell me why you're not buying. Once you know that, you can handle it as an objection, or you can move on to someone who will go out with you on a second date. Thanks for spending the time with me. This is Mace Haroff. I'll talk to you soon.